So today I am doing a video of our chin mount that we've made for GoPros and other action cameras for the Shoei Neotech 2 um, Touring. We've made these mounts for a ton of different off-road helmets, mostly what we focus on. We've done a few street helmets like the Simpson lineup. That being said, this was highly requested by a lot of the folks in the ADV space uh, because it is a modular helmet. Um, which is super cool. Uh, so we decided to make a mount for it. Uh, the cool thing about this is this is one of the first two mounts that we have created that is also a light mount. This is something that we're doing for our entire lineup, which allows us to put a light um, on this mount as well, but I'll get to that later. So the cool thing about our mounts is that they are custom designed for each individual helmet that they're made for. So all of the contours line up perfectly. We use quite a bit of mounting surface area, so our mounts are not gonna fall off your helmet or anything like that. They're attached with double-sided mounting tape, uh, 3M mounting tape, that's the same stuff that GoPro uses for their sticky foot mount, uh, but we just use a lot more of it. It's very secure, it's not gonna fall off. Another cool thing about our mounts, since we're coming from the off-road space where guys go ass over tea kettle all the time, is we've made these mounts rubberized, right? They're super, well, they're not super flexible. They're made out of a hard rubberized filament, which means that they can support the weight of the camera, but if you crash in them and you smash your face into the dirt, uh, they're not gonna break. Like, these things are, basically indestructible. We've driven them over with trucks, we've smashed them with sledgehammers, we've dropped bricks on them, all to the same mount, and the mount was perfectly usable in the end of all that. So, uh, we're very confident in the stability of our mounts. They're really rock solid, they're not gonna break, and I mean, you could shy of like throwing these things in the fire. They're gonna last you for as long as the helmet uh, is something you still want to run. First thing I want to point out is that the mount doesn't get in the way of any of the helmet's functions, right? So you've got this air vent here, and that's important, right? You want to be able to have access to that. Uh, there's a bunch of other mounts that either mask over all of the functions of the helmet and don't allow you to use those. Ours, we try our damnedest to make sure that we don't get in the way of any of the form function of the helmet. So you can access that, and then underneath here, you can still get your finger in and uh, access this um, latch that allows you to turn it into a modular helmet. And then I guess if you wanted to, you could still use this. This is nice for ADV riding even. I mean, when you're riding on the street or on fire roads, you wanna be able to see into the corners, you wanna be able to see where you're looking and the lights on the bike are pointed in the same direction that the bike is going, which is not always where you're looking. So this is really nice to be able to see and ride better, ride more safely. And it also allows you to film at night and actually get quite good footage um, of the terrain that you're riding over, which is which is nice. It opens up a whole new realm of possibilities for filming and getting cool footage. Now with the mounts specifically, um, both of these mounts, what we're taking into consideration is not just the mounting surface, it mounting up custom to the helmet specifically, but we're also taking into consideration a tip back angle. So at your most aggressive, you're going to be riding, you're not gonna be looking higher than the eye port here. So we've created our mounts to stick out away from the helmet far enough so that you can tip the camera back and get a parallel view of the horizon uh, that's level with the eye port, the top of the eye port. Um, and you can adjust the camera or the, the light. It's basically fully adjustable. You can point it straight down if you wanted to. Uh, I like to keep it in line with the camera so that the camera gets good footage and that's basically where you wind up looking anyways. So the camera is seeing what you're seeing and the light is shining accordingly. Yeah, alternatively, if you wanted to, you could mount the camera upside down and the light right side up if you had some special use case. I don't know why you'd want to do that. At some point, you start mounting stuff so low to the point where if you look down, it hits you in the chest. I haven't had that problem with this light, especially with these smaller lights. There's a variety of different lights that you could put on here. Um, basically, anything with these GoPro mounting forks would work. There's some mountain biking um, flashlight things that you can put on. I like this, this light because it allows you to 
uh, keep the, the, the battery off of the helmet. Um, put this in your backpack and you don't have to worry about that weighing you down um, or that extra weight on your neck. One thing I wanted to mention is that we've reversed the screw direction. Uh, so this is going in this way and most GoPro accessories are made to go in the opposite direction. The reason that we did that is because with the uh, GoPro Hero 8, 9, and 10, the battery door is on this side when the media mod isn't on here right and it's hard to get that battery door open when the screw head is on the side because you have to push down a little latch to open it up uh, with it on this side you're basically free and clear to be able to change batteries on the fly without having to worry about getting involved with the screw head that being said with the media mod on all of these electronics even though they've provided the cutout underneath here for the gopro screw head uh, all the electronics are on this side which they're not on this side and allows you to actually get a better um, finger on the head of the GoPro screw uh, and tighten it down. It, it just works out better that way. It doesn't interfere with it at all. So works out better. One quick thing I wanted to note is that we also sell these 90 degree adapters. These are to help you shoot 4K footage in the native aspect ratio for phones, right? So if you're shooting for Instagram or Facebook or uh, YouTube shorts or TikTok, you may want to consider getting one of these. The problem with it is that it, since we've run one screw this way and one screw the other direction for the light mount, this will not work with the light when it's on the helmet because when it sits in this way, the GoPro is turned to the side and it's dropped down and the GoPro, this, the, the screw head will get in the way of the GoPro. So uh, we just, it's just a physical limitation of our mounts that we couldn't work around uh, for, for shooting with a 90 degree adapter. There are other 90 degree adapters that'll keep the camera centered with the GoPro mount and those would work if you wanted to shoot that direction. We just don't sell them on our store. So, so real quick, I wanna show you guys just how to mount one of these. Uh, what I like to do is sit with the helmet facing me, holding the helmet between my knees. I find that's the easiest way to do it. Take the mount and hold it up to the helmet so that way you know exactly where it's supposed to go. These mounts are uh, fitted exactly to the helmet and you want to fit it up to the helmet so that it's there in its resting state. You don't want to like pull the wings way apart and mount it like that or something. The reason being because if you mount it too far in on the helmet it's going to affect your tilt back angle so you don't want to like spread these wings even though they are rubberized and flexible when it's in its resting state is where you want it to be when it's set on the helmet and you should be able to find fairly easily where it's supposed to go once you understand that you're gonna we're gonna provide you with a couple of alcohol cleaning pads clean the surface of the helmet make sure you get off any oils or dirt that's on there and then you can take and remove the tape backing from these 3m pads you can just take it and drop it onto the helmet where you know it's supposed to go and then just press it down it's super easy and then it should be good to go uh, for a really long time if you ever wanted to replace it for any reason uh, we do sell replacement tape that you can buy on our website what you need to know about that is that we glue these tape to the mount using a gorilla clear grip glue it's a rubberized glue and it bonds really well to this rubberized material it's flexible glue um, and it bonds really well to the tape so make sure that the tape won't come disconnected from the mount uh, so it just bonds really well but if you're going to replace the tape on your mount um, if you want to take the mount off your helmet for any reason the tape is one time use you just need to make sure that you buy the gorilla clear grip glue uh, so that way you can replace the tape with the glue and it won't fall off all right so here you can see uh, the single mount the non-light mount mounted up here and this obviously can be used for the gopro uh, as well as for the light uh, but you basically have to sacrifice one for the other uh, you can't use both at the same time if you're only interested in using one and not the other then by all means uh, we're still going to keep the original mount on our store, so that way you have the option to buy one or the other. Uh, this one does work well with this 90 degree adapter. Uh, you can see that goes in there, and then the GoPro would go on like that. One thing I wanna mention, this is more like a housekeeping note. You wanna make sure you understand which way the screw 
goes through into the mount, right? It goes through as you're facing the helmet from right to left for where the GoPro is supposed to be mounted. And the reason is you want it to be on the opposing side of this knurled nut. And if it's not on the opposing side of that knurled nut, like for example, if you screw it through this direction where the knurled nut is and you tighten it down, you're gonna pull the knurled nut out. And this has happened a few different times, um, starting to become something that we're noticing. So I wanna mention it now. You don't want to put the GoPro screw through in the direction of most GoPro accessories. I think pretty much everybody except for ours is doing it this way. Uh, you don't wanna do that because it's going to wind up pulling out that knurled nut um, and you don't want that to be able to become a problem. It's also not going to tighten down and your GoPro is just going to flop around in there uh, because it has nothing, has no ability to pinch these together and so it's not going to tighten down against the GoPro mounting forks. So real quick before you go, I just want to talk about why chin mounting. The reason that we've gotten into this whole project of making customized chin mounts for individual helmets is that chin mounting really is the best place you can mount a GoPro on your helmet. Um, as opposed to mounting it on top of the helmet or to the side of the helmet, it keeps the GoPro centered with your point of view and it's the lowest point on the helmet where you can mount it where you can still get that first person perspective. The thing about GoPros is that the more they look down on the terrain, the flatter the terrain looks. So if you put it that, I don't know, 12 or 15 inches lower, it allows you to get a deeper perspective of the terrain and makes the terrain actually look like what you're seeing when you're riding a dirt bike. Uh, so it gives you a lot better video footage that looks a lot more like what you were experiencing. The other thing is that, I mean, I know this is a more of a street helmet and there's not a lot of chin mount or chin ventilation here for it to talk through, but it is right in front of your mouth. And with these media mods, they actually have very good audio pickup. Uh, so if you're doing kind of a mode of vlogging or something like that, you'll get better um, audio as opposed to it being on top of your helmet. Wait, and there was oil leaking out of here. Where? Here? What, wasn't there? When you when you punched yeah, it? Yeah, I punched it here. And that I was... did it again. Just now, huh? Yeah. The last thing is uh, protection. Uh, so you're more likely to turn your head rather than go face first into the dirt. Um, and if you do that, it'll keep your GoPro protected. And there's also the factor where it may get knocked off. If you're riding off road and you have it mounted to the side of your helmet or to the top of your helmet and you catch a branch or something, it could very well knock the GoPro clean off or it could just to like tip it back and then you just get hours and hours of footage of the sky, which is not something anybody wants to see. So chin mounting really is the best point of view uh, that you could possibly get for mounting uh, a GoPro to the to your head, to your helmet. We're gonna talk about what comes in the box. So when you buy our mount, uh, of course you're gonna get the mount itself, depending on which one you buy, you could buy the light mount or the other one. So that's what you're gonna get. You're going to get a screw. Um, and if you get the light mount, you're gonna get two screws. You're going to get an alcohol prep pad and that's for cleaning your helmet with. You're going to get a variety of stickers. You're gonna get our original sticker. You're going to get our Wannabe's Mobcast sticker, which is a sticker for our podcast, which is where we interview a lot of uh, hard enduro racers in the sport and a lot of other people as well. So check that out. We've interviewed Graham Jarvis and Buddy Webb and a bunch of other people. So subscribe to that because that's actually really good content. And then uh, we have got this cool sticker, which is uh, Kel's daughter drew this. This was designed by her. So we had it made into a sticker and now it comes with our products. The last thing is our, um, Holy Bible, <laughs> literally all of our information. It has a QR code which takes you to our product uh, support page. Uh, it is also our warranty card. This comes with a full lifetime warranty. If you ever have any issues with it, uh, we will replace it for free. So we have a ton of extra resources here, things like how to um, record audio from a Senna device, which is actually kind of cool for this one because this one is Senna compatible. It like has the ports for the Senna in this helmet. Uh, so if you wanted to record the audio from the Senna to your uh, GoPro directly, we have a video about that. It might be a little bit different depending on the Senna device that you get. I know these in-helmet ones can be a little bit different, but we have a video about how we, rec we did it through our 20S Evo. We also have other things like how to record from an external battery for your GoPro and um, the ch external charging, stuff like that. So lots of good information on our website. 
Uh, if you're interested in buying one of these, we'll put the link in the description below. We'll also put links to our social channels so that you can see what the point of view looks like recording from the chin mount on our Instagram channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. We will get back to you as soon as we can. If we don't have a mount for your helmet at this point, we have like 70 or 80 of them. Uh, if we don't have one for your particular helmet, let us know and we'll add it to our development list. And that's everything.